Another question about language learning with data from Mozilla Common Voice. If we're transcribing an audio clip, to what extent does it really matter that we've correctly spelled the words, not to mention proper names? Shouldn't the student be hmm, let off, given they get out of jail for free card in this case? Shvesta yuta, bitte zur Notaufnahme. Shvesta yuta, bitte. Uh, for some reason, I misspelled it. I remember that there were two T's this time, which is, which is another peculiarity of German spelling. Not always obvious where the double consonants were occur, will occur because they're generally not pronounced, unlike in the Latin language, not to mention English, French, and so on. Schwester Jutta, bitte zur Notaufnahme. Schwester Jutta, bitte. One more time. Schwester Jutta, bitte zur Notaufnahme. Schwester Jutta, bitte. So hopefully it was reasonably clear what was said, even if the volume is very low in this sample. So I would say that, yeah, it's kind of annoying to have to repeat this exercise, not to mention have your spaced repetition progress towards mastery of this flashcard completely, completely reset by a trivial or just a stupid spelling mistake. I have Utah with an I for some silly reason rather than a J, as of the proper spelling. Um, I, I always go back to what Evan de Milner has one time said that we can never underestimate how much repetition we need to learn a language. So with that in mind, I say, yeah, what's the result of this strict grading system going to be? More repetition. Do you need more repetition? Yes. Do you also need new stimuli, new sentences read to you to stimulate your brain? So once again, you proceed to solve the general problem of transcription rather than just rely on good knowledge of 1,600, 2,000, or however so many flashcards. <laughs> so yeah, I would probably say new stimulation might even be, I don't know. Which which of the two do you think is more valuable? Repetition, especially with a spaced repetition scheme or the introduction to information? I think the right answer is you have to have a, a balance of the two. And I believe that 80% uh, of the time you should be doing a review, even if it's a stupid review that I uh, misspelled Shvesta Yuta. It's a proper name. How, how could you proper, 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 how could you know? Well, I think it's useful to learn the typical spelling patterns and names in the language you're studying, not to mention names of persons, places, and so on, lakes, cities, and and and, and the like. And was there um no, I, th I think I think we're out. I forget any other stray points, but I was talking about news, yeah, I was talking about review versus new stimulation. Uh, we've been over that before. So at present, yeah, th there's no there's no possibility to say, hey, this was right. I want to mark this correct. Because the problem is if you have that magic button to erase the mistakes, you're going to do this more often than you like. And you're going to avoid uh, you're going to avoid repetition in cases where you should repeat. Now, another stupid, overly long video, but there's another explanation for this whole thing that you couldn't remember this sentence. You couldn't you couldn't perfectly transcribe this because it's taking up a bit too much of your brain's energy. So say it were totally easy for you, you'd be able to remember, oh yeah, Utah, that's spelled J-U-T-T-A, no problem. You had to allocate a bit too much energy to the raw transcription of the phonics text. So I say that's a kind of psychoanalytic um, explanation. I'm not sure that's the right adjective or just, I don't know. <laughs> you choose the adjective in this case, but that, that's also why I say in the sentences where Meyer is spelled M-E-Y-E-R versus M-E-I-E-R, 
that, yeah, okay, you got it wrong. You spelled Herm Hermaya, you spelled a proper name wrong. So you have to repeat it. Well, when you reach the point where the hearing, where the actual transcription, the in this case, the ear finger connection is totally perfect, you will remember the proper names. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And even if you get it wrong, it's probably less than 1% of the time. It just doesn't matter. It's not worth really focusing on because, again, 20% of your time is going to be spent on those new samples, which I think force the adaptation. Now, here's a question for you. Should the rate of introduction of new information suddenly spike to 50% or 60% and then fall off? Maybe that would be optimal. Maybe it would, but another topic another time.